and uh, Ramadan Kareem to all of you. As you can see in my slide, I just want to talk about one thing that seems to be affecting all of us. It's affecting industries, it's affecting professions, it's affecting our social life, which is disruption. So what is disruption? Is it something that we need to be scared about? So let's explore that. But before that, let me just take a step back and talk about something that we are all used to and have seen, which is change. Change is something that we all know about, right? So change is gradual. It happens to everyone. We all can understand it to a certain extent. But then after change, what happens? You have something called iteration. Iteration is a slight improvement of what we do or of the product, right? After that, you would have innovation. And innovation is different. Innovation is a brand new way of doing things or a brand new product. Now, how is disruption different from all of this? Disruption is a new product or a new innovation which makes the old completely irrelevant. It makes the old obsolete. And that's the biggest challenge that all of us are facing here. Constantly, we are facing disruption in different industries, different professions. Now, over the, and this is not something new. We have seen disruptions over the years, be it electricity, be it motor car, be it our smartphones. But then the funny thing is, the human reaction to disruption has almost been the same. Every time a disruption happens, we react more or less in the same way. And those are five stages. And what I'm going to do here is I'll take you through the stage one by one. And if you guys feel that you have experienced it, make a noise. Let's not do hand raising. Let's make a noise. All right? Right? <laughs> Louder. <laughs> yeah. Who is always better? <laughs> All right? So the first reaction is confusion. Yes? We all get confused. You know, a new app comes, Snapchat, you're confused. You don't know how to do Snapchat. You were so okay with Twitter, then suddenly Snapchat comes. Are you okay with Instagram? Suddenly Snapchat comes. I'm confused. What do these filters mean and stuff like that? This is my personal experience, by the way. My daughter's way better at Snapchat than me. The second stage is rejection. Oh, this is not working out. I'm never ever going to do Snapchat. Twitter is not for me. I've been blogging, things like that, right? OK. The third is the most important stage, where we shame or berate. You know, that guy is on Instagram or the guy is on Twitter. He has nothing else to do. He doesn't have a job. What is he doing? You know? So only losers are on this kind of a platform. Social media is a waste of time, things like that. So get into this shaming or berating kind of a stage. And the fourth and the fifth stage are very, very quick. So you have an acceptance stage and finally forgetting. You forgot that you initially rejected this particular idea or service or whatever. Right? So it, whether it was a Snapchat, whether it was an Airbnb, where people said that, why should I pay good money to stay in somebody else's house? That's like stupid. I would never do that. Right? But then people ended up doing that. And that now become the norm. You accepted it. And you said, yeah, yeah, you know, I want a homely kind of a way of holiday, so I would rather go for Airbnb. Correct? Now what happens is, how many of you are students? How many of All right, make some noise. <laughs> All right. This applies to people with gray hair like me. People under 20, I guess, are much, much more open. But then what I want to tell you is, out of these five stages, two stages are very, very important. The third stage, where you shame people, and the fifth stage, where you forget. And why is it important? Because at the sta third stage, you take a very, very hard position. You would say that I would never, ever do this. All right? And it becomes very difficult for you to remove yourself from that stage. And the fifth stage is very important because you forget that you've forgotten. You always need to remember that there were ideas that you rejected, and then now you're adopting them. So it's very important. Now, this is as far as human nature is concerned. Companies and corporates behave in a very different way. They are, they are much different.
different in the way they behave. So how do companies behave? They behave to disruption with their three own Ds, which is deny, defend, and deflect. So when you guys who are students, when you join companies, you'd find people in their corporate wisdom talking about denial. This would never happen. We've been in this industry for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. This trend will never catch on. And you now know what's happened to Kodak or a Nokia, right? The second stage is defend. They defend their bad decisions or no decision by saying that, look, we were ready, but our staff wasn't. We were ready, but our management wasn't. We were ready, but probably our customers didn't want us to change. And the third and the most critical factor or the critical stage is deflect, where they deflect the blame to somebody else, saying that, look, we couldn't do this because of X, Y, Z reasons. So again, my submission to you, the future workforce, is that whenever you are in a boardroom or a meeting, when you hear the words, this is never going to happen to us. Our industry is different. We've been dealing with the clients for 20 years. Please make some noise. Like now. <laughs> Good. All right. So my last point is, why is disruption important? And why does it signal for us to change? We all like superheroes? Yeah? Louder. Why do you think we love superheroes? There are three, four commonalities. First of all, they have great costumes, right? They have superpowers, yes. They fight evil. And they have a secret identity. Are you, are you all with me? But then there's something else that is common among all the superheroes, which is they got their superpowers by disruption. OK, Peter Parker got bitten by a radioactive spider. And the next day, he became Spider-Man. It was not after three years of hard work and working out and getting all these you know, special powers. It, it happened overnight. That is disruption. All right? So you need to understand that disruption brings out the superheroes in us. So please dance with disruption, expect it, accept it, and above all, celebrate it. Thank you so much.